Uh, hello, uh, good afternoon. How are you? Uh, my name is Damon Kirsa. I'm um, a developer at Honor Diamonds. I'm just going to show you how uh, the customer statement application works, uh, the one that we've developed for, for SAP Business One. All right. So I'm going to quickly log in into my SAP Business One uh, using my username as well as my password. All right. Then I click login. All right. So this application actually works for those clients that uh, would want to send a uh, our customer statements uh, uh, periodically to their to their clients for example you can do it uh, daily on a daily basis on a weekly basis yearly basis quarterly you can you can configure you have different options that you can actually con configure your your business partners with All right so i'm going to simply select uh, all of the uh, let's say i need to send um, uh, customer statements to let me say all for now i can just select the ones that i want uh, for now, I'm just gonna quickly select uh, everyone. All right. So after selecting um, uh, all the business partners that I want uh, to, uh, to to send our customer statement, uh, statements to, I will click this button. But as you can see, uh, there are dates uh, that are that are on the system here. Uh, these dates uh, represent um, the last time the customer statement was was sent. All right. So I'm going to click quickly uh, click this next button. All right. So on on my left here. There's a list of uh, there's a list of business partners uh, that have been selected. So this window actually enables you to preview the customer statement before you send them, right? So you can select that the date that you want. I had selected from 2010 uh, up to date, all right? So I'm just going to quickly select here, all right? So this is much faster than um, all the other reports that I in SVS one, all right? Um, I'm going to select uh, this one. Then as you can see. Um, there isn't really any transaction uh, that actually happened here and uh, you can select uh, another I can select another client all right uh, this one uh, that has been selected these are all the transactions that I, that, I, that that have been uh, made uh, from 2010 up to up to date depending on your selection criteria of course if you're selecting um, a, a customer that's supposed to receive a monthly uh, sort of a sort of a customer statement uh, you can't select uh, this um, big uh, range of, of, of dates. You have to select uh, uh, appropriate dates. All right. So for the sake of testing, I just selected uh, all the dates uh, so that I, I can have somewhere where, where there is enough data for, 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 for the report. All right. So if you want to preview uh, the print, you can actually right click. Then there's this uh, print preview option. Uh, the application will then uh, show you the customer statement that's supposed to be uh, sent to the to the client. So this is your ad address, the company's address, as well as uh, the address uh, for the for for, for 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 the client. All right. So information that is on this um, on this report is coming directly from SAP Business One itself. So if you have managed to actually add the contact person in SAP Business One, the person will, uh, the name will appear here. If there is a phone number for the contact person, it will appear here as well. As well as the email address that you've added uh, in uh, in SA Business One, so all the details that are here are coming from SA Business One. So this is just a preview, all right? Uh, you can even select another client, all right? Uh, the application is loading since there are a lot of uh, transactions that have happened from 2010 up to now, but it's much faster than than Crystal Reports or any other reports that are in that are in SA Business One. So basically, uh, that's what we have. Uh, maybe before I I I end uh, the, the the demo. Um, all right. Uh, there's this option uh, send statements. So if you click uh, this send uh, statement option, the application is actually going to send all these statements to respective uh, our clients. All right. As you can see here, there's an email address. You can actually uh, have more than one email address that you add uh, on your business uh, partner master data, so that when you send customer statement it can be sent to all those emails that you would have added so basically this is how the application works so if i click send here uh all right uh SAP essentials which is the application that i'm that i'm using who then send all the statements that have been selected of course they have to be properly configured there has to be a valid email address for the application to send uh to send the emails so uh, that's what we have and uh, the application is sending soon after that it will show you that uh, it has managed to to send everything All right